write quite a lot of originals for this record. At the same time, I had a very clear idea of the way I want to be playing when I play gigs and the way the band sounds good and very important to me what audiences actually like to listen to because I've been playing live to people for 30 years in all sorts of bands all over the world. This quartet's been together now for maybe five, six years. We played together such a lot that that it's it just feels so natural, you know. Graham's got such a great feel, you know. Dave's got a great vibe. He's great, great tunes. Great playing with um, uh, Sebastian. It's just it just feels right, you know. And it's and there's loads of space, loads of solos. It's just it's great fun, you know. I like playing with Graham Harvey a lot because I like actually pianists who comp very well. You know, most pianists they tend to over comp, but he's one of definitely one of the best compers, and of course, his soloing is, is second to none. And uh, I love his touch, he's got that sort of quiet fire uh, quality in his playing, and I really, really dig that. You know, it doesn't have to be like right in your face, he's, he's very subtle. <laughs> most about this rhythm section is it swings like hell and that's a really special thing when you find a rhythm section that swings book them that's the thing that's the hardest thing and it's the best thing it's the most satisfying experience when you just go yeah that's swinging I've played with Sebastian for um, 15 years 60 16 or 17 years now I think he's got he's got the, the right time feel he's just he plays all the right things if I ever, if I ever do an arrangement or, or of a tune or anything he'll I, I know exactly what he'll play in all the spaces I know the feels that he's gonna do we often just go for the same things we often play uh, little feels at the same time all these bizarre things happen because we've played such a long time together Sebastian on drums and Jeff on bass. I, I don't play with anybody that plays this music better than that, so they make it very easy. been playing Rhodes. I'm old enough that uh, when you didn't have a piano at a gig, when I started out, you had to have an electric piano, which was probably a Rhodes if you could afford it. So this isn't my original Rhodes, but I've had this one a good 25 years, I would say, and it's an old friend with a few smashes in the keys. Um, but I like playing jazz on Rhodes as much as acoustic piano. It's a different thing. Uh, it takes a bit of thought swapping between the two because the characteristics are different, but it certainly lends itself to some of the material on this record. So it's probably a 75% acoustic piano and then the rest on the roads, which isn't really affected or anything weird, it's just basic roads. It's always a pleasure to play with these guys because um, they just have a knack of doing the right thing. Um, I know I can write material for them with a huge amount of confidence. I know that whatever I have in my head they'll find that idea and they'll bring it to life and it'll be better than I had ever really imagined it would be in the first place. I think 
swinging jazz is maybe not done so much at the moment because it's quite a difficult thing to learn. It's one of those things that takes years and years and years to sort of get the hang of. And, um, so I suppose there's not so many people that, that do it. And we like to do it. It's our thing. I should say that I'm feeling particularly blessed at the moment to be involved in such a spiritual project and hopefully we can heal the world a little bit in some way. You know, one note at a time we can help people. Mm. Peace, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.